Dogs and Camper here, Tim V, as you know me. Today we're going to be doing something a little different today, a little unorthodox. As you have seen from the title of the video, Coolest Way to Make a Campfire, we're going to be using a little simple thing called a chemical reaction. What I'm going to be using in this is potassium permanganate as well as glycerin. Now, if you've never heard of potassium permanganate, it is widely used in the medical industry. It is typically used for ailing skin conditions, it's also used for a topical for uh, ulcers, so that it has a lot of medical benefits to it. It can also be used as a water filtering chemical as well, mostly used in pools and aquariums, so you can also use it to purify water in a particular survival situation. But today, we're not doing any of that. Today, we're going to be making a campfire with it. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the two main active ingredients in this chemical reaction are going to be obviously the potassium permanganate and the glycerin. Now when you combine these two, it creates a chemical reaction that produces a tremendous amount of heat and a burst of flame, which generally lasts for a few seconds or more depending on how much you use. But the benefit of this is that it's not only is it super cool, but you can also use it in wet conditions in a survival situation or just for making a cool campfire or just pretty much anything you want to use it for. So we're going to break it down and I'm going to show you the process of making a fire with this. All right, so our ingredients are the uh, potassium permanganate, it's a little dark there. We have our glycerin, and I'm gonna be using a little uh, bottle cap here to put the uh, glycerin in first. The key is to put the glycerin in first, and then pour the chemical, the, the powder permanganate on top of that. So we'll place that here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. All right, so we're zoomed in there. Now the next step is to put the, uh, the uh, glycerin inside of the little cap there. Just a little dab there. Now I'm going to build a little kindling around it and see if it ignites it. All right, so I've got a little bit of kindling around it, and we're going to put the uh, potassium permanganate on top of that, and let's see if we can get ourselves a fire started with it. Spoonful here. Not really sure how much to use, but we're just going to put a good portion there. So this takes a little while for the chemical reaction to start. Let's see if we're successful here. There we go. As you can see, it's hopefully we'll light the kindling. It's a little windy out here today. Let's see what happens. I think we got it. Check that out. So there you go. Using a little bit of glycerin, potassium permanganate, you actually create a chemical reaction to start a fire. And this works in wet conditions. Well, as far as the chemical reaction works in wet conditions, if the wood's wet, obviously it won't ignite, but you can see it's igniting there. So I just wanted to show you guys this quick little video of using potassium permagranate. You can probably pick this up at a pool supply aquarium website where they sell aquarium supplies if you just want to do it. It really has no practical use as campfire start. It's just really cool, and I wanted to show that to you guys. So... There you go, how to start a campfire with a chemical reaction. All right, so I just want to put out a little disclaimer. When you're using potassium permanganate and it's fresh, like just recently bought and all that, this usually takes about 30 seconds. But because I've had this potassium permanganate for about three years now, it's a little old. So this one took about two minutes and 30 seconds for the reaction to start. But obviously you didn't see that in the video. But yeah, it took about two minutes and 30 seconds for it to start. So when you first buy potassium permagranate, it's going to be a little bit fresher than what I did. So it generally will start in about 20 seconds. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check you next time.